There are three kinds of Arabic today. Street Arabic, Fusha, and Classical Arabic, that is Lisanul Arabiya. We are learning Classical Arabic. There are three kinds of words in Arabic. Ism, Fi'al, and Harf. Ism is a person, place, thing, idea, adjective, adverb, and more. Fi'al is a word that has a tense, past, present, or future. And harf is a word that makes no sense unless another word comes after it. There are four properties of an ism. Status, number, gender, and type. There are three forms of status. Rafa, that is the doer of fi'al. Nasab, detail of fi'al, or an ism beaten by harf of nasab and jar which is after of or an ism that has been beaten up by the harf of jar. We can tell status by ending sounds or by ending combinations. Ending sounds like u, an or in and ending combinations for two like ani, aini, three or more combinations like una, ina and three or more feminine combinations like atun and atin. Pronouns don't care about ending sounds or ending combinations. Independent versions of pronouns are rafa, and attached versions of the pronouns could be nasab or jar. Light or heavy, all words of page 6 of the workbook are heavy, but they can be made light. We make the word light by removing tanween and removing the extra noon. We only remove the extra noon and not any other sound. There are four reasons to make a word light. Normally, a word is heavy. We know the three reasons now. One, if a word is partly flexible, like Yusuf. A word is mudaf, like Rabbi in Rabbil Alameen. Or the one being called, like Waladu in Ya Waladu. If a word has Alif Lam on it, then light and heavy does not apply. Alif Lam and Tanween cannot exist together. A word can be fully flexible, partly flexible, or non-flexible. Fully flexible words, like Muhammadun, show Un, An, or In sounds. Like Muhammadun, Muhammadan, Muhammadin. Partly flexible words have U, A, and A sounds like Yusufu, Yusufa, and Yusufa. All non Arab names are partly flexible, but the words that have three letters in them are treated as fully flexible. The words which are non flexible, like Musa, show no change in Rafa, Nasab, and Jar forms like Musa, Musa, and Musa. There are three kinds of number singular, dual, and plural. Singular, example Muslimu, one Muslim, dual like Muslimani, two Muslims, and plural like Muslimuna, three or more Muslims. Plurals could be masculine plural like Una, Ina sounds, feminine plurals like Atun and Atin sounds, or broken plurals where singular word is broken in the plural version, like Masjid becomes Masajid and not Masjiduna or Masjidatun. Broken plurals could be human broken plurals or non-human broken plurals. We need to know the meaning to know if it is a human or non-human broken plural. Human broken can be treated as a she and non-human must be treated as a she. There are some plurals because the Arab said so, like Kaumun, Annasu, and Qarnun. There are two kinds of gender, masculine and feminine. Masculine like Muslimun, and feminine like muslimatun. All isms in Arabic grammar have a gender, and this is a grammatical gender, not a necessarily a physical gender. Words are usually masculine until they're proven feminine. Feminine could be real feminine, like ummun or baqaratun, or fake feminine for many reasons, like if the word is ending with a tamarbuta, alif maqsura, or alif mamduda, non-human broken plurals, proper names of places, body parts that are in pairs or feminine because the Arab said so. This is in page 12 of the workbook. There are two kinds of type, common and proper. Muslimun, like a Muslim, is common and proper, like al-Muslimu, is proper, the Muslim. The default is common and there are seven reasons for a word to be proper. These are the words in, that begin with alif lam on them, like al-Muslimu, proper names like Ibrahimu, the one being called like ya Muslimu, pronouns, ism ishara, which are the pointer words in English, this, that, these, and those, ism mausul, which we learn later, and the word before of, if the word after of is proper. There are five types of fragments. The first is idafa, 
made up of mudaf and mudaf ilay. Mudaf is the word before of and mudaf ilay is the word after of. Mudaf it should be light and have no alif lam on it. Mudaf ilay should be in a jar status. Nothing can come between mudaf and mudaf ilay. The mudaf looks at mudaf ilay for the property of type. That is, if mudaf ilay is proper, then mudaf is proper too. And if the mudaf ilay is common, then mudaf is proper too. The properties of the whole idafa, that is status, number, gender, and type, will be the same as the properties of the mudaf. The second fragment is jar majroor, which is made up of a harf of jar followed immediately with an ism in jar status like wal asri. We learned 17 harf of jar so far. Ba, ta, kaf, lam, wow. Min, fi, an, ala, hatta, ila. The third fragment is inna and ismu inna, which is the harf of nasab followed by an ism in nasab status. It can be right after the ism, uh, the harf, or later as well. We learned inna anna ka anna bi anna, laita lakinna la ala. The ism is called ismu anna or ismu bi anna or ismu lakinna, depending on the harf. Pronouns in fragments. Independent pronouns are always in rafa status. Attached pronouns could be in nasab or jar status. If attached to an ism or a harf of jar, they are in the jar status. And if attached to a harf of nasab or a fail, then the pronouns are in the nasab status. The fourth fragment is mosuf sifa which is made up of mosuf, which is the word being described or the noun, and sifa, which is the properties or adjectives of the noun. They are on the page 26 of the workbook. Example, muslimun salihun. Sifa comes after mosuf, that is noun comes first and adjective second. In English, the order is flipped. Sifa has four properties, which are the same as the mosuf. Mosuf can be only one, whereas sifa could be many. There could be a long distance relationship, that is a sifa does not have to be immediately after mosuf in the sentence. For example, this ayah.